Jason M. I have a little disclaimer first. This video is for the average consumer. What matters most in a device right now? Two hot smartphones. First off, as you guys can see here, the Oppo Find 5 looks somehow bigger than the LG G2. This is because LG's engineers did a fantastic job of manufacturing a device with a larger screen than the Oppo Find 5, but still put it in a smaller chassis. They are about the same thickness, little, little, point millimeter different. The LG G2 has buttons on the back which I find to be really handy because after just a day of use I was able to use the buttons on the back as if it was natural to me as if I've been, I'd been doing this the whole time. And there's also one thing about the LG G2, the way it feels in the hand. The way it feels in the hand is really really great. I think the designers did a good job. They designed a very good phone. It's got a plastic bag. This plastic bag in my case is white and I don't know if it's that my fingers don't have oil or something, but I don't seem to attract fingerprints like other LG G2s were having. Maybe the black just has a different coating than the white one, but mine doesn't really attract fingerprints. My Oppo Find 5 is a good phone, solid phone and sturdy, but I think the Oppo Find 5 is, is not designed well enough to fit in someone's hand like the LG G2. The LG G2 was made all the buttons on the back, curved sides, sharp edges which makes it very difficult at times to grip and use for a longer time at least compared to the LG G2 so with the LG G2 I feel more comfortable using this thing for longer periods of time than the Oppo Find 5 the Oppo Find 5 is significantly heavier than the LG G2 you can feel the difference just by holding the two the LG G2 has a 13 megapixel camera and so does the Oppo Find 5 but what makes a difference is optical image stabilization is this kind of technology that is used in high-end cameras which makes you take less blurry shots as you're about to snap a picture let's say you're taking a picture of something and your hands are moving it's not going to happen with the LG G2 with the LG G2 you're going to have clear shots compared to the Oppo Find 5 and I've noticed that this helps a lot at night when I take low light shots with this phone I have almost no noise that's also due to the part of LG's image processing which to me looks better and no noise at all. It's a very, very good camera for me. It's the best camera I've ever seen on any Android device and believe me, I've used many. From the S4 to all that you can name. Even beats to me, it beats the iPhone 5. Talking about user interface, LG has this UI here. The UI is really, really snappy because this thing has the newest and best processor on the market. I really like the processing speed is very quick, it's the quickest Android device I've used in my life. Compared to the Oppo Find 5, the Oppo Find 5 has somehow an unrefined UI. It's a UI based on Android, but it's somehow cartoony at times and it looks very, very off. Um, and it's been in beta since day one, and I really have a problem using their UI. So if you're about thinking getting the Oppo Find 5, you have to go in and install Serengeti mode and other ROMs. And you are going to have a lot of bugs with those because even those are not up to standards compared to what you are going to find with the other devices. With the LG G2, LG has done a lot that even if you leave everything on by default, the device will never be slow. This is the fastest Android device I've ever used. There are no lags whatsoever. That is that snappy. Apps open up quick, everything loads in instantly. <laughs> One thing too you can love with the LG G2 is battery life. Really, uh, this is the Oppo Find 5. It has been off the charger for about four hours or something now, and it's at 78% of one hour screen on time. With my LG G2, this is third day I'm using this device without charging it and that's just amazing. I've been using this thing for 
past three days on moderate use and it still lasts me as long i've been using this device for long now and yet it doesn't die on me so if you're already on the market deciding to choose between these two devices you can't go wrong with the lg g2 the oppo find 5 is a good phone sturdy but how sturdy enough is it i mean when it falls down it still has dents and scratches mine got hurt very badly here and it's still the same thing it's a smartphone and i don't feel the lg g2 feels cheap at all it feels really really sturdy and good to hold in the hand compared to the fine 5 so if you like this video please hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this the lg g2 review will be coming up next week